Little cartoons, maybe? Yeah, there was like kind of the crest. Well, the technical name is the lateral. There was like yeah. the same Washington Warden's like Pirates and 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 Pirates and
If the leading coefficient is negative, it's going to end down. And if it's an odd power, it's starting and ending are going to be in opposite places. So it starts down, ends up, or it's going to start up and down. So if it's an odd power, they're going to be opposite places. If it's an even power, they're going to be in the same places, such as this, a quartic function. Starts up, ends up. Starts up, ends up. Okay? Because if it's a positive first term coefficient, it's going to end up. If it's a negative first term coefficient, it's going to end down. And since it's an even power, start down, end down. Even power over here, start up, end up. Okay? So what do you think the fifth power will be? Okay? We don't have that, so let's just make our own. So, what if we have a fifth power one, and it's positive? Well, it's going to end up, right? So, it's going to be like that. Okay, start down, end up. Okay? And then, if it's a5 is less than 0, it's going to start up and down. Okay? Get the pattern? It's just math is full of patterns and patterns and more patterns. Okay? Local extrema and zeros of the polynomial function. Okay? So let's look at this one. Come on. You'll come up with an equation here. Come on. Come on. All right, so this is more of the leading coefficient and end behavior. I think we beat that one to death this morning already, so we're good there. All right, this is what I wanted, okay? Describe the end behavior of this, okay? Well, looking at this, it's an odd or an even function. Even function. Is the first term coefficient positive or negative? Positive. So, it's going to end up or down? Up. If it ends up and it's a fourth degree, it'll make a W. Okay? Start up, end up. Okay? All right. Finding zeros. You said it equals zero. Is there anything I could factor out here? 2x, and I get x squared minus 2x minus 3. Could I factor that? x minus 3, x plus 1. So x equals 0, because 2x equals 0. x equals 3, because x minus 3 equals 0. And x equals negative 1. That's the zeros of the function. Solving the equation, finding the zeros of the function. Okay? So... That's all we need to know for the first half of the lesson. And then after lunch, we'll keep continuing on talking more about zeros of functions. The first half, there's a lot of blanks to fill in because we're doing end behavior in that. And so there's a lot of blanks to fill in. So, yeah, there's not that many problems. Lots of blanks.